What's going on guys? Jordan Devils back again. I hope you had a chance to check out my first video on YouTube, the full chest workout. If you haven't, please check that out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about that. Now for today, I want to show you some footage we've been working on for months. We started this back in May of 2019 and I'm going to show you the process of how to create your very own supplement line. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And as always, please subscribe, leave your comments, and I hope you enjoy the footage. I'm here doing my first taste testing for the supplement line, Hope Dealer. And uh, I'm here with my partners and we're about to give you the best flavors you have ever imagined. So we're gonna go inside, you'll meet the team, you'll see all behind the scenes in the lab and everything, all right? So I'm gonna give you direct access to exactly what it looks like and show you everything from the bottom up of how to make your own supplement brand. And uh, I'm excited and blessed, man. I wanna show you guys some cool stuff. So let's head on in. Oh yeah, give me my, my MC yeah, Hammer glasses. Let's go. So Jordan actually developed this base. With so this is his heart and soul and he's passionate right. about it. So it's not like he's just going to saying, I'm gonna launch some powders. Um, so he has a following. Can you tell us a little bit about you so the team understands yeah, sure. they're working on your products. They, I want them to know you. Well, this is what we're going for. So that the the hope dealer is the whole brand that that we're shooting out right so my envision and, and I've, always, I've wanted to do this for forever for a long time is have my own supplement company so i've been you know had opportunities to do other supplements or you know represent other companies but i've always held off because i'm like i know god made me to do my own thing like i know it's going to come at some point and uh now it's here to where it's like all right now i got my own thing so and, and i'm sure you guys see it with all the other companies out there where there's like you know, a lot of uh, misconception and a lot of misleading and stuff like that going on, I feel like, in the supplement industry, right? So you'll have certain people representing products that they didn't use that product to get that kind of physique or whatnot, right? But a lot of younger kids and a lot of people that aren't, you know, developed into the fitness world, they don't understand that. They just see it and they're like, oh, well, he looks like that and let me buy that. You know, so people are using their hard-earned cash to buy these products and these products aren't even, they're not what they crack up to be, right? So they're not giving you great ingredients, you know, they're low dosed. Anyways, I want to come out with something that is legit, that's something that is, you know, has integrity, that really stands on its own, is transparent, but is giving people their money's worth. Like this is actually above and beyond anything you can get on the market, you know? So obviously we want to, uh, you know, create a product that is well liked, that people buy and that you make money off of, but above that, you know, we want to make a difference in people's lives. And I don't want your money if this is not the best thing on the market. That's the way I look at it. So if I can't give you the best product on the market, I don't deserve your money. I don't even want it. So, but I believe that the products that we're putting out or going to put out are gonna be something that nothing else like that is on the market. So diving back into Hope Dealer, what that means. So you'd see the two hands, one hand represents prayer, other hand represents help. So together that delivers hope. So one thing we'll do with the product. So every product that we sell, we'll take a dollar out of that product and that's gonna go into the Hope Dealer Fund, which is now that's what I'm really passionate about is giving back. So giving to the community, whether that's going and giving somebody a Thanksgiving or you know, paying somebody's rent, whatever it is. So that type of stuff and helping the community. So now this supplement company's got an actual bigger vision than just putting out products, right? Yeah. So now that's really what it's all about. And uh, you guys are here to help me and I appreciate it. So Great. yeah, that's me. So really that's kind cool. of my background. They're gonna show you flavors. Now keep in mind, if you like something in the market mm -hmm. um, and wanna see it, they can, they can do anything. Okay. Um, yeah, any other sweet. questions for the team before you start to taste? I don't think so. Okay, so the first one we have right. right here is the watermelon flavor. So we'll okay. just start with one and we'll taste and then we can get feedback. We'll take some notes. Okay. Um, so I kind of would like to get some water in between or there's a cracker here if you need it just in case the bitterness starts to build. Okay. Uh, but we'll start right here with the watermelon. All right, sweet. It smells good. It's like a Jolly Rancher or something, right? I really like this one. And this is like the sediment thing that they were talking about? Mm-hmm. Settling right here? Yeah. There's a lot. It it's like almost like a... Bass. Yeah, I got you. Jordan, what do you think on watermelon <coughs> flavor? Do you like that flavor? Do you want to see a different watermelon profile? It's like you can't get too candy-ish if you're going natural, like the Jolly Rancher. Watermelon, mm -hmm. you can't do that too much with natural. 
I like that flavor. Love, okay. this. Yeah. Okay. I like that watermelon. So feel free, like if you try a flavor and you want even something tweaked, higher, lower, something added to it. Okay. Like different character. Watermelon. Oh, no. Watermelon can be a candy, lot of things. Just like we said, it whatever. can be a fruit, yeah. it can be a candy, it can be a right. whatever. Gotcha. Right. You know? That's pretty amazing how you, can, you can't taste any of all the ingredients that are in there. And there's so much in there, but that covered everything up. Yeah. Really well, even down to the to the bottom. Did you set up a small sample hmm. of just the base with nothing in it, so he can see the transformation of? Oh man, I can only what imagine. Oh yeah. They're, they're, they do a nice job. So this is the base as Lovely. is, correct? Yeah. No sweetener. Oh, I know this is. Ooh, this yeah. Is <laughs> this showcases what they what do. They do. I love. Yeah. Oh yeah. The <laughs> smell for you. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. Wow. Woo. That's crazy. The great bitter kick job. right at the end. Ah. Right here. It's just like bam. Yeah, there we go. Jeez, there we yeah. go. I would say you definitely need to have that sweet kick at the end just to kind of keep everything off. Oh man. I'm doing this a little while. I like that. No, that's del it's delicious. Uh, that is so awesome. that's it as From it this guys. from this to that right? is yeah. Isn't perfect. Yeah. yeah that's, keeping that's, that for later, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. We'll keep that for reference, so I come back. Just remember how great you are. Come back to that every now and then. So that's what we hmm. started with. So that's what wow. kind of helped us choose these flavors and acid levels and sweet flair levels. And Caitlin has just been doing an amazing job with all of these. Y'all are awesome. Second one here is fruit punch. All right, fruit punch. So keep in mind with fruit punch. I can throw this in. Fruit punch is insanely popular and does well you don't have to call it fruit punch we can have marketing come up with fun names this is this is hawaiian punch all day this is like yeah that's this yeah, so classic that's, that's classic that's that's like that. tahitian treat that's my favorite drink ever i have never that's my, had that what never it? had it, it that's my favorite pop it ever it the <laughs> that's my favorite yeah. pop ever. Nobody that's, ever knows what it is. They're I, like, I've what? Tahitian it. treat? It's like the 79 cent Hawaiian punch. Like exactly. Nice, it's like the nice. Everybody was. Carbonated, like a yeah, it's like a pop. Yeah. Delicious. That's funny. Nobody ever knew what it was. I'm like, you ever had Tahitian treat? They're like, Tahitian really? treat? I used to get my, I used to get a Tahitian treat and a bag of Grippos and I was, mm -hmm. I was good. <laughs> yeah. I was good to go. Right, so we so got. Lemon lime. Lemon lime. Wow. Couple citrus flavors. Okay. Now. So lemon lime. It's weird looking at it. It's really <coughs> yeah, that threw me off. I was thinking, all right, well, we got like. It smells amazing. Oh yeah, that smells good. I'm, I'm. If it tastes like it smells, I'm in there. Right away. <laughs> I love the smell of this. So the color, we couldn't do too much with color just because all of this is coming from the beet. Mm -hmm. But we thought the flavor paired beautifully with it. Yeah, that's that's, that's smooth right there. Now sometimes mm. people like their citrus to be a little bit more sour. So we just kind of left it here at this level to see what you thought. Did you gotcha. want to skew more sour? See. Did you want to leave it where it is? So acid was going to kind of give you that pucker that like you want to suck in. It makes your mouth right. water. So we can add more of those types of notes or we just kind of kept it. I mean, there's a little bit more acid in this than say like a watermelon or fruit punch mm -hmm. just because of the nature of the flavor. Um, but we could always make it a little bit more sour. Gotcha. And that, that, that's lemon lime straight. What if you added then, could you mix in another fruit flavor with it, like a uh, strawberry, like a strawberry lemonade type deal? Absolutely. I'll say I can go strawberry lemonade or cherry lime, split it in two Ooh. different directions even, and you kind of hit two different. Cherry limeade is so a hot really right now. And it's, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's cherry limeade. And it's kind of red with the color as far as, you know, going color. True, right. true. This one here is blood orange. Blood so, orange, okay. That's a hot one too, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It's like an exotic orange. Orange, yeah, like a... Orange with a little bit more... A little tangerine notes to yeah. it, maybe, but it's not just a plain orange. Right, right. We can always do that. We felt like we threw something in that was a little bit more tropical. Yeah, um, so that's an option. We just weren't quite sure if you wanted to go in the tropical direction. But we can go more traditional orange, or we can ditch orange altogether. What do you think? Blood orange is very on trend. Like you guys said, it's just a flavor that's kind of blowing up across applications. I do a lot of RT beverage, even personal oral care, things like that. are trying to do blood orange turmeric, trying to throw in like unique flavors with botanicals even, or kind of flavors like that. But blood orange is a big one. 
Well, we can good. Give you another one to think about. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I love it. With your blood orange. Okay. This is a more traditional, like, tropical punch flavor. Do you think it's too close to the Tahitian? It's very close to the Tahitian in that... Punchy notes yeah. almost, right? Yeah, it's very similar to that. I feel like the aftertaste is a little bit different. So that Tahitian kind of stays with you a little longer. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit different. Like you say, you taste more the other fruits in this one. Mm -hmm. When you're done with it, that Tahitian just kind of like, boom, in there, yeah. Just nostalgic too. The Tahitian reminds me of like yeah. Hawaiian punch. Like it's, it's dead on. Yeah. It's almost dead on Hawaiian punch. This is the strawberry lemonade. So when you taste the strawberry lemonade, yes. okay. when we get to it, know that it's not optimized. So mm -hmm. it's not gonna be as good as it. it right. It so would like be go just for the profile and be like, do I like the, do I like the flavor thing at all? Mm -hmm. And if I do, we can always. Up or down, You're right. whatever else, right? So that's the kind of thing to keep in mind here. So oh, that smells good. That that oh, if this Strawberry if it tastes like it smells, I think, I I'm telling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my comments <laughs> I smell it and I want it already. Yeah, we're going the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You like the character, good. Yeah. Yeah, I still like so optimize that flavor. That's something you would look forward to. Like mm -hmm. you would like, That's I can't wait to have that. It is refreshing. And lemonade, I think is still popular and sweet <clears throat> and it carries through really nicely, so. I'm loving that. See, you created it. <laughs> From well, doing this, isn't that kind of these fun? Are, these amazing people created it, but I yeah, that's just. This one here is cherry limeade. Oh, dang. Cherry limeade. Oh, Goodness, y'all are coming. Oh yeah, dip my nose in there. The aroma on it. Oh, that smells so good. I dip my nose down in it. For yeah. your demographic, are you typically going for the 18 to 35 male? Yes. Yeah. Usually, it's going to be the cherry limeade and the Tahitian and others. It is not going to be strawberry lemonade. That's more female skew. True. I love it, but it's for sure more female skew. Um, but completely up to you. And that could also be keeping the flavor and just renaming it to something else as well, if you want it. Gotcha. But I agree with you. It skews. Strawberry lemonade for sure. Yeah. One way or the other, but still tastes phenomenal. So. Right. So call it something cool. So maybe it's coming up with some type of different name <laughs> for it, correct? Like you said. Jazzy electric lemonade or something like that. Jazzy lemonade. Change it up a little Jazzy bit. Jazz. Absolutely. Yeah. Jazzy jazz lemonade. Or... You will see one out there, electric lemonade. The name helps too. Like, <laughs> who you're marketing it. Gotcha. Or we found for certain. Um, but usually if it's like strawberry lemonade, I might sit there a little bit, but if you jazz it up and have like a more masculine sound right. game, unfortunately that's just how it is. I can see that, for um, sure. Grape nerds. Is it grape nerds? I mean, y'all are like, it's, it's crazy. It's, 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 it's crews like, crazy over here. I'm like, oh dude. Oh yeah. I like it. I like the smell. Oh yeah, it's all day. <laughs> it is, isn't nerds. it? It is great nerds. <laughs> Yum. That's it. That's yeah, that's great nerds for sure. Mm. That's awesome. That's new for us. That's a new combo. That's cool right there. You just yeah. killed it. I love it. That's delicious. Yeah, we. Wow. We got the A team over here. <laughs> I was saying, we say it, and then two seconds later, they already got it. <laughs> I can't believe you in the cups of the world. We were talking about nerds and you just did it and you're like, great nerds. I'm like, good stuff. I really now like I one. like that one. That yeah. one's fun. And it's differentiated. Mm -hmm. Dang. All right, that's good as well. I'm going to say top two would definitely be the strawberry lemonade and, and the grape. Yeah. That's awesome. now. Yeah. The other flavors are very, very good, but those are like, wow. We all went. This is something new. Wow. Like it's. Yeah. 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 So how many skews were you thinking of coming out with first? Four, I would imagine. Three to four, Max. Okay. Hey, Jordan. I know that you're going to take down that lion's mane because of the sedimentation. Mm -hmm. I think the tea green and... I mean, depending on your cost, so you have to look at your overall cogs with on on the base. I like the diamond mane and I like the um, tea green in there. I think it, like, it's good, right? It, it adds to the workout and you're not supposed to crash with those two ingredients. Right. And I don't taste them. I think that base tastes really. So you think it's fine with it? Because I had them take out the creatine, the tea cream, which there wasn't. There was 50 megs in it, but tea cream is so bitter at itself. So I removed the calcium and the tea cream from it, and just right. upped up the dynamine a bit in it. So I assumed you know tea cream is very hard to flavor because of 
that really strong bitter taste to it. But yeah, I can't I can't taste anything in this. So kind of is a different. I, I like it for you. Like yeah. I like you to have those two ingredients in there because people are gonna be like, I mean, right? People know what they are. Right. So maybe taking that out is unnecessary. Yeah. As far as the tea cream goes. Are they gonna prepare bases for you, right? I yes. Have Lee prepare one. And then just compare and see. So if you want to leave it in, we can play around with it. We can add it in separate and try to maybe do a lower level or optimize those levels. Um, or if you want to pick them, it's fine. But, you know, any more than that, it's going to get a lot. If you go any higher, it's going to be a lot harder because it's just going to get more bitter. I wouldn't do anything <clears throat> additional. If you're going to take out, it's only going to get better. Right. If that makes sense. But I don't think you need to take out. Unless your cogs are too high. I've reduced the lion's mane so you don't have the sedimentation and the calcium, which I think that... Yeah, so that, those two pulled out. Um, but I wasn't sure about the teacrine, so I just went ahead and pulled that out because I thought that was going to be one of the issues with uh, the you're flavoring of it. But too? Yes. How much? Uh, 300 megs. He's 300 megs of caffeine plus your tea cream plus. Yeah, so there's very little, like 50 megs of tea cream, 50 megs of dynamine. So all together, 400 kind of. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So, so um, kind of a um, half serving type deal, basically. Like, you know, if you got 20 servings and you only want 150 <laughs> or so megs of caffeine, just take one scoop, but there's still enough of everything else in there to still to where you can get full doses of what other people are giving you off of just half a scoop of this, basically is the idea. No wonder I'm feeling, whoop. <laughs> yeah, I am, my heart's like, whoop. Um, it's, so it's up to you. Yeah, and I'd love to send you both um, I always think it's just, it's helpful, so you, you're tasting what we're tasting. Right. I send you the strawberry lemonade, for example, once a week, so that you can just taste it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.